Bring it out. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Give me the 76. Give me the 76. How you doing today, sis? Okay. Like what we are here doing, we showing our people who we are according to the Bible. So if you look on this sign right here, you will see this is what God called us in the Bible. And this is why our person called us. So according to this side, what would you go by? According to this side. Yeah, according to this side of the sign, like what is why our enemy called us, what would you go by? Uh, American black. American black. All praises. You know who else came from? Uh, that means you from the tribe of Judah, sis. Right. And what God called us, the so-called um, African Americans, we're from the tribe of Judah. Right. Do you know who else from the tribe of Judah? You, you don't know? Let me show you. Uh, Jesus Christ is from the tribe of Judah, right. our Lord and Savior. And we're going to prove that. Everything we say, sis, we got to get out of this Bible. We can't go by our own understandings no more. Right. We got to see what the Bible's saying go by what it's saying. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh -huh. For it is evident. It is what? For it is evident. I mean, without a shadow of doubt, sis, it is evident that what? That our Lord uh -huh. sprang out of Judah. That what? That our Lord sprang out of Judah. So he said, Our Lord, who is our Lord, sis? Yes, Jesus Christ. So let me ask you a question then. If our Lord sprang out of Judah, and this sign say we're from the tribe of Judah. Who is this man right here, then, sis? Who is this man right here? Who would you say this man is right here? He said it's Jesus. So how could our Lord come from the tribe of Judah, and we're from the tribe of Judah, but our so-called Jesus is a white man? Where is that in the Bible, sis? So right now, we're going to show you, according to the Bible, what Christ looked like. Read what you got, brother. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So right now we're about to give you the revealing of Jesus Christ. Revelation means to reveal. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Read that one more time. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So it said Christ's head and his hairs were white in color but woolly in texture. Let me ask you a question. What nation of people got woolly texture hair, sis? We do. Look at your son hair. Right. That's woolly hair, sis. That's, right. That's just one strike on this so-called Jesus that you say is our Jesus. Bring it up. This is woolly texture hair. Not this. This is that dog hair. We ain't got hair like that. That's not wool. Keep reading. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes. His what? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So think about this, sis. When we drink. When our people drink, what happened to the whiteness of our eyes when we drink? Bring it up. They turn red. That's strike two on that so-called Jesus that you said. Read. Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet. His what? And his feet. So, sis, right now I'm looking at your feet. Your feet is the same color as your legs and your arms and also your face. Bring it up. So when you see Christ's feet, he also seeing the rest of what his body look like. What? Read what you got. And his feet uh -huh. like unto fine bread. Like unto what? Unto fine bread. So let me ask you, sis, what color is brass? Um, brown. Brown. Right. It said Christ's feet was like unto fine brass. But let's see how brown, how goldish it was. Read what you got. As if they burn in a furnace. As if they what? As if they burn in a furnace. So let me ask you again, sis. If you burn anything, what color would it be? No, if you burn something, what color would it be? So what color was Christ? Uh, Christ was a black man according to the Bible. Now go back to, uh, give me John 7 and 38. Because what, what, what's happening is this, sis. We go to church every Sunday, right? But have they ever told you that Christ was a black man? Why is that, sis? Hey, we just had proof that John seen his face and described him as a black man. What you got? Yes, read what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Bring it out. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said. So, this, the Bible says we must believe on Christ as the scripture has said. Right. The scripture just proved that Christ was a black man from the tribe of Judah. Right. Matter of fact, hold it. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Because, like I said, we, the so called African American, we also from the tribe of Judah. Right. And they also give a description of what the tribe of Judah looked like in complexion. Read what you got. 
This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah morning uh -huh. and the gates thereof language. They are black. They are what? They are black. No, Judah are white. They are black Green. unto the ground. Because if you if you think about the ground, the different shades, the, the, the deeper you did, the darker it gets. Right. Right. So the tribe of Judah is black. Right. Christ is a black man. His right. children are black. So, sis, knowing that we are, um, you from the tribe of Judah, what's required of you, sis? Yes, hold on. Let me ask you this first. What's your nationality? Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Okay, well, what would you, well, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Because African Americans know in the Bible. We saying we African Americans like saying we come from two different white men. Because think about it. Africa was conquered by a white man named Leo Skippus Africanus. America was conquered by a white man named Aver America Vespucius. So us saying that we are African Americans like saying we come from two different white men. Do you come from two different white men? I know I damn know. So how can we say we African American then? I'm gonna prove to you in the Bible by you making that statement. That's a prophecy that the children of Israel would not know their nationality. Make, make Read what you got. This is the book of Isaiah, uh -huh. chapter one and verse three. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. So the scripture is naming two docile animals. The ox, even though he's dumb, he know his owner. Who know he know his father? He know where he come from. But Israel do not know. But who? But Israel do not know. He said, but the Israelites do not know. Because since I just asked you, what's your nationality? You said African-American. That prophecy just came to light to you. Because guess what? You're not an African-American, sis. Yeah, right, you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, and, right. and I'm going to prove that to you. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Bring it up. No, give me uh, Jeremiah 17 to 14 first. What happened was, in the time of slavery, they took everything from us. Right. They took our name, right. our language, right. and our holidays. Because think yeah. about it. Who holidays do we celebrate now? What holiday just passed? Fourth of July, sis. And who, uh, who, what independence? Who was that independence for our people? Bring Can think up. about it. In 1776, during Fourth of July, we were still slaves. Right. That was not our independence. What happened is they took our our heritage, they took our language, they took our culture, they took our names, they took our holidays, and gave us theirs. And they're gonna prove it. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So the scripture said we will discontinue from our heritage, meaning we will no longer know our language, we will no longer all know our, holi our, our holidays, right. we will only know where we come from. Yeah. But guess what? In the last days, the true prophets are waking up and showing our people, giving our people that light. Right. Let them know you're not an African American, sis. Right. You're the greatest thing on this earth. Give me the run 76. Bring it up. The reason I don't want you to know that you are an Israelite because they know that you're better than them, sis. Right. The other nations know that. They can't compare to us. Think about it. We rule the sports world. We rule the music world. Nobody can compare to what we do and we put our mind to it. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So it said the Israelites are a holy people. To be holy means separate. We're not like the other people. So brother, what we're going over is we're going over who we are according to the Bible. If you look on the sign, uh, you'll see what our enemy call us. Right here and what the Bible call us. Tell me what you see yourself on that sign. Keep reading, bro. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. The Lord thy God has chosen you, you so-called blessed Hispanics and Native Americans, to be a special people. Right. But let's see how special he chose us to be. Read. For the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Above all people, oh, what? Above all people uh -huh. that are upon the face of the earth. So, right. sir, so we're above everybody that's on the face of the earth. Right. If, right. if they're not on this sign, sis, they cannot compare to us. Right. So, let me ask you this question. If we were greater than everybody on this earth, why are we at the state that we're in now? Why are we in the conditions that we're in? Why are we getting gunned down in the streets, sis? Why are we in these poverty areas? Do you know what, sis? Bring it up. Well, yeah, you're right, but guess what? It's because we're a curse. We're a curse. So, for instance, when you was in your father's household, right, 
and your father gave you a rule, like say come in the house by eight o'clock, and if you don't come in at eight o'clock, what will happen? You will be punished. Right. So the same thing happened with us, the Israelites. This everybody you see on this sign, God gave us laws and statutes to keep. What happened was our forefathers did not keep them, and guess what? God punished us. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Give me all Deuteronomy 1 and 1 and show this to us we're talk, who, who's talking right now. This is Moses speaking to the Israelites. Right. Do you know who the, you know what happened at the time of Moses? You know anything about Moses? Okay, we've been enlightening you, sis. Do what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To all Israel. So these words that we're about to bring out don't pertain to nobody but the Israelites. Yes. Go to verse 28. I mean, uh, uh, 28, verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. Now it's going to happen. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments Three. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses... All these what? That all these curses... So, sir, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. It's Three. a bad thing. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, so it said all these curses shall come upon us and overtake us. Have you found yourself on this sign yet, brother? So I'm gonna show you some of these curses. And let me know if this if these curses harken with your spirit. Because if so, you are an Israelite. Right. Give me all verse 16. Verse 16. Uh-huh. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse, the scripture say, curse shall thou be in the city. Look around you. Who are in poverty? Who are in the lows? Who's the one getting gunned down in the streets? Last time I checked, it's only happened to the Israelites. You so-called blast the Spanish and they're the Americans. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.